So, uh, this is just to share my experience uh, I've, I've gathered since uh, this conversion so far. I mean, um, so far, it's getting to three weeks now I've did the conversion. And, well, apart from the drive, you know, which is a lot. <laughs> you know, it's like, mm -hmm. It's, no, it's very, very, very smooth. As in, uh, the more I drive this car, in fact, because of that, I have to even park my other Pojo cars and be using this one. Uh, honestly, I just enjoy, I love it right now. So, but I observed something which wasn't even part of the part of the reason why I did the conversion. It's the fuel consumption. You know, before now, when you had that uh, automatic gearbox, um, you know. Considering the way I drive, so I the consumption is usually on the high side, you know, compared to my other Peugeot cars, even the one with similar engine. So, and even though I know it probably has to do with the gearbox because of the way I drive, not that the gearbox is actually uh, fuel gasoline. I won't call it a fuel gasoline gearbox, but. The way I drive, uh, it doesn't help with the gearbox. So, but ever since I did this conversion, I mean, I've been amazed. It's amazed to the point that uh, the consumption is almost like similar, if not close to that of my Peugeot 406 uh, V6 uh, stick shift. So, I mean, so that's just what I wanted to share. You know, apart from, you know, the general uh, character of the car right now, or uh, ever since I did the conversion, which is which now made it very, very predictable, very predictable. Unlike before, sometimes if I want to do quick overtaking, I always think, should I, shouldn't I? I hope this will not, you know, it, it, it's all, there's always a doubt, you know, when I want to do some kind of, not just overtaking, some kind of uh, move while in motion. You know, sometimes I just get discouraged, I won't do it. So, but now it's perfect. It's exactly how I want it. It behaves the way I want it. But the important thing that uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is just the fuel consumption side. As in, it hardly drops right now. It drops, yeah, but it just. To the point that sometimes I start wondering, I hope this is still V6 engine, <laughs> honestly. You know, uh, it just behaves the way my 406 does. Even though this one has more weight than my 406. But the consumption now is very close to the forces uh, with similar engine and uh, se uh, similar transmission, uh, same transmission type. You know, I mean, um, let's see if I can. Okay, um, for example, uh, this is the let's see. This is the fuel gauge. I mean, before, okay, let me bring it closer so I don't see in the car. Uh, it's not working. Uh, just let's leave it here. So, before now, as in, I think I, it was just half tank uh, some days ago, about three, four days ago, that I, you know, I've, I've refilled the tank to that half. But now, you know, and I've driven it. I know how many kilometers I've done ever since, and I also know the way I've driven the car. Unlike before, if I drive that way, the consumption will go down drastically. Which, of course, that, not that I mind, because I knew, I was expecting even before I bought the car that uh, the consumption will not be the same with my other manual V6 Lions. So, but this time, it just, it, as in, it's, it's, it's something I, I am very, very happy about. That at least, even with all the fun I'm now having with the car, uh, the consumption is now very, very minimal compared to what it was before, you know. So, that's, that's uh, an interesting thing, honestly. That's an interesting thing. Honestly. So, yeah, that's about it. So I just wanted to point it out. Um, if you are considering doing the conversion, just go ahead and do it. If you are scared, if you are considering that uh, the conversion will go high if you convert yours to manual, 
you just know that it's the opposite. It's just going to be the opposite. Okay. Um, now the thing is, you know, I know some people have been asking me, uh, what does it take to do this conversion, this and that. The truth is this. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying. You can go and find out yourself. You can go and ask any mechanic around, whatever. This, this is not their date because it appears people are just confusing a lot of things. People who have no knowledge about these things, they just open their mind. Everybody is an expert now online. They say whatever they want to say. There's a difference between Z8 and Z9. Both of them are 607, but two, two, it's more like, not like two different vehicles, but with two same vehicles with different systems. Different systems. So the conversion, if you see anyone, they, somebody says it's converted, Go and check, it's most likely is Z8. This one is Z9. The electrical, the mechanical are not the same. So you can do the conversion, but trust me, it's not going to be plug and play. It's gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna you're probably going to experience some of the things I experienced for you to get that. Maybe that's when you will now understand all these things I'm saying. The car wasn't designed com at all to run. No, I'm not talking about just the car, I'm talking about the Z9 with this VCC engine was not in any way, shape or form designed to work with manual. So I made it happen. Now, will I share the knowledge? I will not do that publicly. It doesn't matter what anybody says. I will never do it again. If I want to share it, it will probably be only my clients that will share that information. Who need it? I will share it with him. How you can do that? I have the videos. I have the pictures. Uh, if, at least now, I've, I'll be able to eliminate a lot of things. If I, for example, if I want to do that conversion now, I know exactly, I won't, be, I won't waste the money the way I did when I was doing this one. Because I now know the exact part. You don't even need to deceive me. No matter how you try. Even some of those parts that they deceived and scanned me and collected money, even when they knew it wasn't exactly what I was asking for. Now I have, I even measured the length, took pictures of them, you know, did everything so that if I, Tomorrow, if I want to do a, a similar conversion to a Z9 V6, it will cost me like probably half of what I spent in converting this one because I will not go straight to that part. If you don't have it, I will not bother to question or ask you this and that. Another thing is, will I be willing to do this conversion for anybody? I'm not ready yet because I knew what it took to get this, to even to get this pass. It's not something you walk into a project shop and then collect because, like I said, it, it's, it's the easiest thing to do. Go and do it yourself, then you understand. If you think, uh, I'm not saying anybody can do it, but those who are saying it's not possible, just, just go and do it so that you come and tell us how easy it is because it's easier said than done. You open your mouth and say whatever you want to say. Go and do it. When you come back, do it. Let it be as good as mine. You know, no warning, everything, no noise, no gearbox is not making noise, none of the CV joints is making noise. Even after, so could you believe that even after I did this conversion, I took it to do alignment. They didn't see anybody, so everything was still perfect, nothing. No adjustment needed to be done. That was how good I took time, but I spent money. I spent. I, I don't want to say how much because it will look ridiculous if when I say it. People will say, how can you be? that crazy to spend this kind of money to do this conversion instead of probably using that money to buy another car but i did it and i loved the outcome so yes the fuel consumption is now very very um like i said i really i wasn't even considering it when i was doing the conversion that was even the reason but it's now an added advantage to the conversion so um, if you want to use the automatic, if you are buying the automatic, well, that, if you are buying the Z9 V6 I want to use the automatic, do, but please don't rush the acceleration, which was what I was doing, because the way I drive, I, I just don't carry that kind of patience to wait until the, the gearbox and the engine and the electronics uh, respond. You know, I want that quick action. I want it to respond when I want it, the way I want it, which the gearbox most of the time was not giving me. Um, you know, sometimes it does. Sometimes it just wouldn't let me drive the way I want to drive. It just the system, the computer will just have to do its own thing while I want something else. So if you want it, you will enjoy it, but you just settle your mind. It's not a gearbox you rush. It's not a gearbox you drive aggressively. If you do it aggressively, sometimes you show you a sign that 
this is they designed that gearbox for fuel economy, not for performance. So I want you to understand that it can speed, it can move quickly, sometimes it can do a lot of things, but not meant for constant aggressive drive, which is my style of driving, aggressive drive. That's what I do. So, um, so my advantage now after this conversion is my aggressive drive with this car now doesn't even reflect anymore on the fuel consumption compared to when it had the automatic gearbox. So I just wanted to share that uh, one of the things I'm enjoying now. Okay, so if I have more things, I will put it up and um, that's all.